because it ends with us sparkling my god. The last like week or so I've been feeling really off because we're moving comfortable with my body. I wasn't really confident. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. Today is Tuesday the 26th of April. I'm gonna chat to you guys about the books that I've been reading. But if you saw one of my last vlogs, I started reading in lockdown because I had nothing else to do. And I found it quite enjoyable, so I continued reading. And Colleen Hoover books are really popular at the moment. I thought I'd try them out. The first book that I read was It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. A really good book. I finished it within like five days, and that's pretty fast for me considering I haven't read a book voluntarily since I was like 14. I would highly recommend this one. And then the book that I'm currently reading is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Um, I'm not getting through it as fast as the other one. Probably because I'm not in lockdown, and also, I don't know, I love this one more than this one but this is still good i'm like halfway through and the book i'm going to read after is the love hypothesis because again everyone has been raving about this one i'll let you guys know how this goes and i'll let you know how ugly love goes hey guys happy thursday it's like 11 a.m now and i'm just at my dad's workshop because we're moving workshops within the next few weeks so he asked me to start packing so i have to start packing the office i have all my boxes here and and I have my tape, which I'm leaning my phone on. I'm gonna do some packing. I would video myself packing, but like, there's a lot of like personal information in this room. I don't wanna risk getting anything out on the internet, but I'm going to go to the shops later because I have to get some keys fixed. I got some keys cut the other day and they don't fit. So I have to get them recut. And then I'm gonna go into Cotton On and see if there's anything that I like because it's like a it's like an outlet store so everything's really cheap. Just put all the stuff in boxes. This is like office supplies and cords. This is office books and stuff. Just like random boxes right there are the shelves and then here are all the boxes that we got off the marketplace. And then this is the kitchen situation. I've taken most of the stuff off these shelves into this box. And then I've just unplugged that. I don't want to put it in yet because there was water in it. And then everything's out of there. And then I'm not going to touch that stuff in there because I don't know what that is. Um, so I think that's all I can do today. Next week I'll probably finish it. I just don't want to pull this out because like the cords are gross. So I just finished with the shops, I got the keys fixed, he said that the keys weren't cut deep enough, um, so hopefully they should work now, or else I have to come back. And then I went to Cotton On, and I tried on a few things, but I thought that would look better than what they did, but for some reason, everything I managed to pick out looked like absolute shit. So, now I'm gonna go home, have some lunch, and then chill out, because I have no other work to do today. happy tuesday it is the third of may today i think and i'm just getting ready for work my skin at the moment is not doing very well i think it's because i changed my contraceptive pill like last week and potentially could just be my body getting used to the new hormones my skin was good for like a week and then i changed my pill and now it's not as good but i'm just putting on my makeup so for my makeup today i'm just putting on some eyebrows some mascara i think i'm just gonna leave all my breakouts uncovered for makeup today the eyebrow pencil that i use and i've been using for the last like three years is the brow this way by maybelline is it My by rimmel and then the mascara that i'm using at the moment is the, the colossal big shot i was getting lash extensions but they were ruining my eyelashes and they're doing a lot better i think i need to get some eyelash serum and then i have my eyelash curler and i put on this lip gloss <laughs> When I was driving to work, my other job the other day, I noticed I had a flat tire and then I got my mechanic dad to look at it and two of my tires have nails in them. So today I have to go and get that sorted out. Hopefully I don't have to buy any tires because I really don't want to pay $400 for some tires. Nothing is confirmed yet, but I'm going to try and move out of home September, October this year. I don't know if it will happen, but fingers crossed. I always feel like my eyebrows look super ridiculous when I first do them because when I have no mascara on and I hate like having blocky eyebrows, just 
doesn't look good. I just finished all my makeup. But anyway, I'm gonna brush my hair. I think I'm just gonna chuck it up in a bun because I'm getting my hair done on the 16th of May and it's literally just a mop. So until I get it done, I'm just gonna throw it up. This is probably the one of the longest that I've had my hair. So I just had up my hair in a ponytail because the bun kind of makes me look cool. I'm just getting out my raspberries for my smoothie. If you haven't seen any of my other vlogs, basically I just have raspberries, bananas, almond milk, some Greek yogurt, and then I put honey in, and then that's it. I'm not going to show you me making it because I do that every single time. Hey guys, happy, happy Wednesday. Sorry, I just got really dark because I just closed the garage. But I got my ties sorted out yesterday. One of the back ones had three mares in it or something and it couldn't be repaired. So I had to replace that one. One of my front tires had to be replaced. And then the other back tire that had a nail in it um, was able to be repaired. So now she's all fresh tires. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday the 10th of May. And I've been kind of shit with vlogging recently. I've just decided that I'm just going to vlog and stuff when I feel like it. And also when I'm doing interesting things because I've literally just been working. But last like week or so, I've been feeling really off. Maybe the last like two weeks. And I'm sick of feeling off. Like, I don't know. I just didn't feel comfortable in my body. I wasn't really confident. Was crying all the time. Nothing's really making me happy. And I just like lost my passion for everything. Today I am trying to just like reset um i haven't really been eating or anything like it's been kind of bad like i'm not intentionally not eating food but it's just like i just have no appetite and then the only things that i feel like is like junk food and i don't want to eat junk food because it makes me feel like shit after i eat it so today i'm just gonna try and start eating healthier and then also every time i went to the gym it just was the same things the same exercises i just didn't have like the passion for it it was like oh i'm gonna go to the gym because i have to go to the gym but if you don't know i am currently studying a cert three and four in fitness so last night before i went to bed at like 10 30 i wrote myself up a workout plan so i'm gonna try and work out four times a week but i'm not gonna get this stuff for myself if i can't get the four times i'm doing three glute workouts a week two leg workouts i think maybe three and then two arms shoulders back and chest so i'm hoping this workout plan gets me out of my little funk but currently i'm just having my dad move workshops i'm currently parked in one of the workshops i'm gonna continue moving stuff now i'm just making myself lunch this is just a wrap corn cheese iceberg lettuce and then sweet chili sauce mayo and my chicken schnitzel that's in there Happy Monday. It is Monday the 16th or something and I finished work at 1.30 to get my hair done. I was gonna get it dyed. I was gonna get like balayage, like blonde into my roots but because the shampoo that i've been using sun silk isn't good for my hair it's left like this coating on my hair which makes my hair like really weak and when she tried to put the lightener on it it just like made the hair really sweaty and like stringy and it was turning really weird color so basically she just cut my hair um i got like this much cut off she just framed it around my face um the curls are dropping right now but then she just curled my hair and then she gave me some products to use over the next month or so before i can go get my hair dyed but i just need to fix her up. I wouldn't recommend using sun silk. My dog. I wouldn't recommend using sun silk because it's really cheap and it's cheap for a reason. She's given me three products to fix my hair. Don't mind the dog barking in the background. I just can't be bothered. I have this Goldwell Jewel Senses Scalp Specialist. Um, This is deep cleansing shampoo. So this is shampoo number two. The first shampoo that I use is the Kerastase Paris um, pre-cleanse shampoo. To wet your hair, put this in first and then do this one and then for conditioner she gave me the kerastase i don't know i don't even know if i'm saying this right whatever this is um conditioner and she said once i'm halfway through the bottles or a month or so into using these to book an appointment which is kind of good because if i had gotten my hair dyed today it would have cost me like 400 dollars. and currently i don't have that to spare to spend on some hair but i'm so glad my hair is finally done it feels so much lighter it's like shining i hadn't had a haircut in like two years which is really bad but anyway i'm currently uploading my the clothes that i want to sell 
onto Facebook Marketplace and also Depop. If you want to go buy some of them, I'll leave Depop linked down below. That is all for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!